Hey guys, welcome to the world of ASILK. Please excuse my really dumb background. You know, I just haven't had the motivation. You know what? I, I just didn't feel like changing it. I'm too lazy. But <laughs> what I'm not lazy to do is update my mod manager. So, let's take you through the new features. First thing you'll see right off the bat, new version available. I still need to... um get the new version up but this is what I have so far as you can see a really big upgrade let me try to find um, my old one right here uh, move and keep both files okay now we can see side by side um, a comparison between the two hold up Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. So this is before, and this is after. 1.0.8, 1.1. See the difference? It's a really big difference. So let's get let's go through. First of all, that first the top button has been removed. That this uh, menu bar and it's been replaced with these tabs. Now screenshots I'll get into in a second, but. As you can see, uh, my good friend Zrackman had created some icons for the buttons, so now they look flush and they work perfectly. Work like a charm. Okay. Also, another thing you might notice is that uh, it goes from this like really old retro look to like this really new era look, which is a uh, uh, I just overlooked it when I first made the mod because I did not set the default um, style. That uh, more into that later. But okay, so enough of that. Let's see the new features. So now we got screenshots here, and basically it reads. Let's put this in full screen because we can now. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, so now it reads. So if you go in your documents folder. SimCity uh, automatically makes a folder and it has pictures so what I did is I just went ahead and made it so you can view your screenshots as so so it's pretty nice uh, maybe later I might integrate a feature that lets you upload it to like Imgur or uh, photo bucket or something like that I don't know you guys uh, you guys call the shots tell me what I should do with this screenshot feature I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that it's it's okay. I mean, it's not even useful, but it's just good to have around. You know, <laughs> I just felt like putting it. I don't know why. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, and here in settings about, I put all this stuff here, so you can change your game directory if you happen to move it for some reason. You can open your game directory from here. As you can see, here's my game directory, and you can check update. Yeah. So another thing is, uh, in my last update, 1.0.8, I've made it so that you can add multiple mods to this uh, at once. I know a lot of people have been requesting that, and so I did it. I added it. So let me see here. Uh, what is some mods? Oh yeah, also in case that you haven't known, you can actually, I made it so that you can just drag in files, so, yeah, so you can drag in files, this one is a uh, online mod, I already have it installed, so, I don't need it, okay, time to get rid of these, okay, that's some uh, ironing out I have to do some bug fix and also these duplicates but hopefully I'll work on that in the next update I just wanted to bring this out for you guys since it's a pretty cool um, update if you guys like visuals so anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one